Hello everyone, welcome to another video. So you want to fix Windows 11 error code, uh, this error code right here, as you can see right here. And you want to know why this happens. So as you can see, Windows 10 or 11 error code is a startup error code that affects Windows PCs. If you're seeing this error on your computer screen, it usually means that Windows failed to detect important hardware necessary for boot to happen. So with that being said, as you can see, why does error code happen so this error code happens and has multiple reasons again it can be problems like corruption or del uh, deletion of files in the boot configuration database which includes files and parameters that help to boot windows a problem in this can cause this error now hard disk failures can also cause this error as well so you can maybe check out your hard disk before you actually go and uh, watch this fully tutorial uh, of this full tutorial then sudden shutdowns by you or due to unstable uh, electric supply that can also be the case now uh, here's just some of the matters obviously you can check physical device connections make sure your hard disk is also checked as well and you can rebuild the bcd file so obviously what you can do is you can um, you know as mentioned above the boot configuration database or bcd contains the parameters that are essential for windows to boot up so uh, obviously what you can do again, you can boot your PC from the bootable drive and click on the next in the first window you see. And then once you go here, you'll be able to click repair your computer. From there, you can, uh, in the next menu, you'll have troubleshoot, which will take you to advanced options. From the list of advanced options, just select command prompt. And uh, once you do that, you'll be able to paste this boot rec uh, prompt. Once you paste the boot rec, uh, uh, boot rec prompt, you can basically go and uh, you can click Y, you know, why? because this is like a yes in command prompt. And uh, yeah, after the this, the rebuilding of the BCD will start. Now, once it finishes, you can enter this command and then this command and this will reboot your PC, right? So this one thing that you can do. The second thing or the third method that you can do is rebuild BCD registry hive. Uh, you can do this by these all commands. So this first, the second, the third command and the fourth command and then you'll reboot your PC after this. Now additionally you can run automatic repair utility. Uh, now from the advanced options menu you can select the automatic repair button and in the next screen your OS uh, and you're good to go. So that's pretty much what you can do right here. Now to open this um, to open this you will need F11 and F9 if I'm not mistaken. I'm not sure exactly how to open this but you'll be able to open this uh, with uh, you know F11 and F9 I think now uh, also you can reset the BIOS or UEFI configuration step one is while starting your computer enter the BIOS again this is different for each computer but it will be a specific key uh, most popular hotkeys are F2, F12, escape, delete or other keys as well now once you're in the BIOS menu you can navigate through your keyboard and look for the default option for the BIOS setup now Obviously, uh, you know, just make sure and load the default configuration now and then save changes, exit and your PC will reboot as well. Now, I would definitely go and skip all of these steps and I would check for, uh, you know, support settings uh, from, uh, you know, Windows 11, Windows 10. Again, this error happens in Windows 8, in Windows 10 and in Windows 11. So uh, it happens because again, uh, you know, most mostly because the hard drive so I would definitely check out the hard drive before I actually go and go and, you know, see all of these, uh, you know, inside the computer, all of these settings. So that's pretty much it. Hopefully this video helps you out. If it did, leave a like down below and we'll see you in the next video.